Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I'm actually going to be talking you through and walking you through what is in my everyday makeup bag. And another wee bonus in this video as well, I'm also going to be showing you what's in my handbag. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing my makeup bag first and then at the end of the video we will get on to the handbag. So obviously you are going to be notice and recognise a lot of these products from my tutorials, products that I love, some new products that are in here that I haven't really talked much about on my channel but these are basically like my go-to products at the minute so it's kind of like a wee mini favourites for like everyday makeup let's just say so I'm just going to open my wee bag up this is of course my wee makeup bag it's clear I love it so so much I love the gold detailing on it just love it because it is see-through and I can see literally everything that's in it and I love the fact that it is so big as well well it's not really really big but it's just it's big enough to literally have a couple of palettes in it and basically a full face of makeup so for my eyebrow products guys um I of course have my soap brows this is the wee soap brows that I use like every single day this definitely would be my favorite however my favorite would be the makeup rebel soap brows it's definitely not the best so that's why I always need to go in with the Anastasia brow gel and this is in the shade blonde and it's just their dip brow brow gel <laughs> for my actual brows at the minute I went through a phase of just pencils and I am back to pomade so I'm using this brow pomade at the minute it's from Colourpop and it's in the shade blonde moment for it being like a blonde eyebrow product it is quite dark like isn't it obviously I'm wearing it today <laughs> basically all these products well not all of them in fact 95% of them 99% of them I'm actually wearing today because everyday makeup all that stuff you know but yeah um yeah and it's a good wee pomade and then to carve my eyebrows out I always have a wee concealer on hand so the concealer I'm using at the minute is the Becca ultimate coverage concealing cream just this wee one here. This is the wee primer that I've been just shoving in my makeup bag at the minute for everyday wear and it's from Be Perfect Cosmetics and it is their Perfection Primer and it's the Silky Matte one. Now I don't actually know why this is has swarmed its way into my everyday makeup bag because this is a silicone dimethicone based primer it's a silky matte it's kind of like the texture of the poor professional i'm not a fan of those primers but i quite like this actually it's not that bad and then of course my foundation you just knew that this is going to be making an appearance <laughs> it's the NARS Natural Radiant Longer Foundation um, this is obviously my non fake tan shade um, and it's of course in the shade Mont Blanc and I love this foundation so I have here the El Maquillage and Flawless Concealer and I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer this isn't really a concealer I would ever usually use on my channel or talk about and it's mainly because it's always in like my everyday makeup bag or something um so yeah and I take the shade a light 2 vanilla in the wee NARS concealer I forgot about this <laughs> this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and this is the shade 3 light medium I always like to have this in my makeup bag just to kind of um use as like a primer not necessarily primer but as a bit of a base for my foundation or if I want to actually mix it in with my foundation I kind of have that choice to kind of use it as a wee bit of a versatile product so yeah, I always like to kind of have that on me and then may as well talk about this because it's right in front of me <laughs> but this is a wee setting spray that I'm trying to use up at the minute it's from Colourpop slash 4 Thread Beauty and it's the Glisten Up Eliminating Mist for my cream bronzer this kind of changes up quite a bit it just kind of depends on my skin tone at the time and kind of just what I'm feeling to be honest but at the minute it's the Huda Beauty full filter foundation stick and it's in the shade Tres Leches but obviously because I'm quite pale at the minute and even whenever I am tanned this is far too dark for me um so yeah just use it as a contour and it's really nice actually I've been really enjoying it and then I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is obviously like just the wee travel size one. I started off not liking this product like back in the day whenever it first launched but since I have this wee one here it's actually grown on me quite a bit. Um, but the only reason I've been using it every day is because it's small and compact. It's obviously the wee travel size and it's not bad and it's just kind of 
it just kind of does the job you know but i obviously like to use two setting powders um i always like to use a wee press setting powder and then a loose setting powder to bake so i've been using this wee palette here from tarte as far as i'm aware this is discontinued by the way so i do apologize can't link it or anything down below but it's the part gav princess chisel palette so it has a couple of bronzers in it and pressed powders i did take these two out as you can see i haven't used them but i did actually like just take them out because they were far far too dark but they were also shimmery bronzers which i don't do a shimmer bronzer so i just thought i would actually just like take it out of the palette anyway just you know <laughs> so i'm obviously using this shade at the minute to like set my under eyes t-zone etc a couple of highlights i actually have three highlights <laughs> who's surprised <laughs> so the first one i have here is the jouet highlight in citrine the reason this is in my everyday makeup bag is because i'm trying to get rid of it Ooh. by the time this year is over we will have used this up i am counting on it <laughs> um it's such a gorgeous wee highlight but i'm sick to death of this highlight because i'm just i've had it for so long at this point and it's just taking forever to use up and I'm just <laughs> so this is the wee highlight I'm actually using today and it is nice but I'm just I'm over it at this point and then I have the Ofra highlight and this is actually in collaboration with Steph Toms the milk and cookies highlight so I actually did buy this whenever it first came out and then I had all really good intentions to actually use it to use it on my channel sorry but Ofra has kind of got themselves into a wee bit of a sticky situation recently so I no longer like to use Ofra products on my channel um in case it comes across as if I'm promoting them when I'm not <laughs> um so I just obviously like to use it just off camera day to day because obviously I spent the money on it it was pricey I bought it I'm gonna use it up I'm not just gonna give it away or bin it and I'm sure you can probably guess what the next highlighter is a eh? the ColourPop Flexitarian. So this is the wee highlight I always, 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 always like to have on hand because it's the highlight I use for my nose highlight and if I want a wee bit of something extra on the cheekbone. And it's actually a really handy wee highlight to have for the eyes as well. If you want a wee pop with something on the inner corner or just on the lid or something, it's just really handy. And then for bronzer, this is the Fenty Beauty in the Sun bronzer. This is one I've been using obviously every day at the minute, but this shade for me, if you're very pale as well, is perfect. So it's in the shade in the Sun. And I also like to have a really good bronzer in my everyday makeup bag as well that I can also use as eyeshadow. And then I think I mentioned this in a previous video, the Body Collection blusher. This wee one here, and it's in the shade peaches and then of course i have my lash glue the ardell lash glue i use the dark one i don't like the clear one i actually don't like any clear lash glue i always prefer it to be slightly dark obviously mascara this is the one i've been using constantly at the minute i absolutely love it it is the maybelline sky high mascara i have not put this mascara down since i got this i actually got this gifted to me in pr i was kind of on the fence about it at first off because of the really flexible wand kind of found it a wee bit difficult to work with but you kind of get used to it and you kind of like figure your way around it but other than that i absolutely love it it is probably one of the best mascaras i have in my collection at the minute and obviously false lashes um i never usually have false lashes in my everyday makeup bag i usually have them separate but i use this wee box here for like a load of like different false lashes and usually if i'm taking my makeup bag somewhere i'll take this wee box here so you know oh eyeshadow eyeshadow always kind of depends it was like color pop palettes for a while especially the grandeur eyeshadow palette but i have recently been putting the anastasia soft glam palette in my everyday makeup bag because how old is this seriously how old is this palette i've had it for honestly like such a long time at this point and there is no excuse as to why I shouldn't have most of these shades used up because it's such a perfect everyday palette and especially if you are a makeup artist it's such a great everyday palette nighttime palette if you're going out somewhere for braids it's just absolutely amazing it's just all around her a great wee palette and for me and my everyday makeup look and styles these are my shades <laughs> 
So yeah, that's why I have it in my everyday makeup bag at the minute because I'm just trying to use it up. I always like to have one of my ColourPop lip liners. They're honestly my favourite lip liners of all time. And the one I'm gravitating the most towards at the minute is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Good and Plenty. And then my lip products. Lip products is so difficult. I usually don't have... Um, lip products in like lipsticks or liquid lipsticks in my everyday makeup bag I usually just always have them in my handbag you will see <laughs> how many lip products well I'm I'm pretty sure because I've actually been looking for some lip products at the minute and I couldn't find them yesterday so I'm pretty sure that they are in my handbag but you will see the amount of lip products I just shove in there and they never see the light of day again or I'm just using them on the go and yeah <laughs> um but i thought i would talk about this and just shove this in here at this section because i have actually two of these and it's basically at the minute my ultimate go-to lipstick and it's actually the mac lipstick from jimmy genevieve actually this one is brand new it's completely unused i've actually thought about selling it um it's not even swatched or anything but i thought i'd talk about it anyway my other one that i have been using is actually i'm i think it's at kyle's house because i can't find it or do you know it could be in my handbag actually you will we'll, we'll figure that out in a minute or two actually <laughs> but yeah can't find it so that's why i've took to showing the brand new one that i haven't used and then i always love 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 to have the Lux lip oils from ColourPop. i have the clear one in my everyday makeup bag at the minute because clear is just playing it safe it's grand obviously there is like a lot of like other colors and everything and on the lips they kind of do come out clear anyway with the tiniest 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 wee smidgen of tint but they're nearly all clear to be honest, but I don't know. This is just kind of playing it safe, you know. So guys, that is basically everything that is in my everyday makeup bag. So now we're gonna jump into what's in my handbag. This is the part where I always kind of freak out. And I actually have been planning this video for a couple of weeks at this point, and I purposely not cleaned out my handbag. So this is my current handbag at the minute as you can see it's very i'm dressed like my handbag what that's class <laughs> awesome this was completely unintentional i'm literally dressed like my handbag but anyway guys, so uh, this wee handbag here actually was recently gifted to me and this is the reason I'm actually doing this video to actually show you guys this gorgeous handbag that was gifted to me. I'm not paid to do this video or anything, I'm not sponsored or anything, but the brand was just kind enough to gift me this gorgeous handbag. And did I mention the brand, Teddy Blick? So if you have been with me from the very beginning, you would know that I have worked with Teddy Blick in the past. So uh, this is actually the third time I've actually worked with this brand and their handbags are beautiful they're absolutely gorgeous the previous two handbags i was actually gifted from them i still have them um obviously <laughs> they're gorgeous pure luxury honestly a pure pure luxury so they were obviously kind enough to let me um select what bag i wanted as they do every time and i obviously picked this one here so this is the i have it on my phone here the vanessa croco 14 inch black and red bag I love it as you can see it's just like a nice tote style with two looped handles and it is obviously made from like really good premium Italian leather and as you can see the interior is a really nice suede I love the red in the inside I think it just makes it look so expensive the inside as well we have three different wee compartments we have this side here and then we have the other side and then we have like the wee oops can't see the wee middle cylinder compartment and it has like a wee zip as well so of course i will have everything linked and listed down below for you if you want to check out teddy black because their designs really are absolutely beautiful the shapes and the sizes obviously vary to what you're looking for and the colors are absolutely beautiful they have some of the most beautiful colors for especially coming into this time of year like really fall autumnal colors and then coming into like spring and summer they have some beautiful pastel colors and everything 
and I was actually really tempted to get like a really nice sage green bag but I don't know black for me is just a safe color and it goes with absolutely everything and I just kind of find that black is just it's luxurious looking but all of their bags are so luxurious looking anyway they're absolutely stunning of course as I did mention there these handbags are crafted and made in Italy and it is premium Italian leather the leather is quite soft it is quite soft and nice to touch but it still is quite sturdy so it's still going to like keep its structure if that makes sense like it's not going to fall and collapse into itself like as you can see it's just standing quite nicely but I just love it I love the shape of it and then we just have like the wee clasps here as well if you want to expand it a wee bit or depends on obviously what you want to put in it and everything but I just kind of like to have them closed just for now because it obviously helps maintain like just like the nice wee tote shape of the bag. I love it. It's so, so nice. So I will obviously have like everything linked and listed down below for you is like the website and like a wee direct link to this handbag or anything. So make sure to check that out. But shall we get into it and see what rubbish we have in this really nice bag of mine? <laughs> so first of all, we have, of course, this diary. I've been doing quite a lot of... um things behind the scenes you know oh look a mask for recent times we obviously have a couple of um ibuprofen strips for like headaches or anything like that i obviously have my wallets so this is my wallet here with all my debit cards credit cards etc and then i just obviously have this other wee wallet here where i will keep my receipts in and like foreign um <laughs> you should probably wonder where I'm going with this foreign what Emma <laughs> foreign money <laughs> um yeah because um a couple of times this year I've needed to actually go down south for business and stuff so I've just been keeping like receipts in there and obviously like foreign money well euros let's just say oh would you look at this we have one two three four Five, six, seven. I'm going to check the other side. Eight, nine, nine lip products in this bag. I have the Mel Cosmetics Matte Lip Paint in the shade Ibiza. I already knew that was in there. And I have the Laneige Sleeping Lip sleeping lip mask yeah the berry one i have this makeup revolution lipstick it's oh my god this is ancient <laughs> it's nearly done as well by the way um and then i have the nyx soft matte lip cream in cairo i have this tarte lip quench in rose the color pop and barbie lipstick i have the p louise hola lip gloss the p louise heights is it heights yes it is heights lipstick and i of course have my maven beauty sus or sauce lipstick as well but no mac lipstick so i'm kind of thinking that that wee jimmy genevieve lipstick is probably at kyle's house we have obviously hair pins and hair bobbles at the bottom here we have a couple of euros i have a couple of cigarette papers <laughs> I have a nose ring <laughs> and then I also have this from Beauty Bay. It is the Hydrating Lip SOS Mask. This is just new. And then I have this wee eye cream. I actually was at Kyle's at the weekends and I was supposed to leave these off but I've clearly brought them home again. So this is a wee hydrating eye treatment. But that's one side of the wee pocket and then in the centre we have a necklace, a gold chain, what's new there as well. <laughs> and then in this next pocket here, we have Haribo Tangtastics, which are half eaten. We have a car air freshener. <laughs> we have tablets that my dad gave me that I probably shouldn't be taking because they're far too strong. I have a hair bobble numerous hair baubles actually i have this wee nail glue now and again i will actually have like false nails on if i can't be bothered to actually paint them i have a tampon 
because, you know, <laughs> I have my cigarette tin and I also have my tobacco. Lastly, apart from just like the odd wee bits of rubbish and stuff, I have my wee selfie clicker here. This is honestly like the best wee thing. This should have been in my favourites video actually a couple of days ago. It's so, so good. So you literally just like flick this up here, the wee button comes on, you hook it up to your Bluetooth on your phone and you can set your phone up and hide this in your hand and just click it and every time you click it it takes the picture it is so so handy of course this comes to the end of this video guys thank you so so much for hanging out with me today and thank you so so much to Teddy Black for gifting me this beautiful handbag I will have all the details and links and everything down below in the description box I just also just want to mention again just in case you know but this video wasn't sponsored or anything but other than that guys I hope you're all staying safe and well please be kind look after yourselves and each other and I shall see you in my next video.